Welcome back to Building with Hammers. Today we're going to be learning how to use lights and triggers. So first things first, get rid of your water. The water is not needed. Now you want to add a new entity right here and replace it by double clicking it and typing in light. Now for custom appearances, which is what we're going to use, you want to name your light. So go to name and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it light. And you also need this for the trigger. So name it. And custom appearances, if it's A, it's the least brightness. If it's Z, it's fully bright. For me, if I want to flicker, which I do, I just spam a bunch of keys and apply. Now you're going to want to drag this up. And now we're going to want a trigger. To add a trigger, you're going to want to click Browse and type in Trigger. Then you can double click this and add a trigger right in the middle. Enter. Now you might be thinking, what's this trigger here going to do? Well, if you hold down Control and press T, you get this. Now I can do trigger once or trigger multiple. So we're going to do trigger multiple. Here's what it does. Delay before reset. That means how long before you can trigger it again. 100 seconds. Okay. We're going to do 10 seconds. No, 25, 25. Sorry, sorry if this is getting confusing. Outputs, you're going to want to click that. Click add on trigger, which is if you touch it, light, turn off, add, on trigger, light, turn on, then after delaying seconds will be five. And so yeah, you can also add triggers to this using outputs to the door. So if it's opened, it'll trigger something. Or if it's trying, if you're trying to open it while it's locked, it'll trigger something. You know? 